expired. Chair recognized Ms. Bobert from Colorado for five minutes. Well, Hunter asked for a public hearing. Here we are, and he is nowhere to be found. I guess Hyden really does run in the Biden family. Now, Mr. Bobulinski, in your testimony, you state, it is clear to me that Joe Biden was the brand being sold by the Biden family. In your experience, what is the value to Joe Biden in helping his family collect millions from foreign adversaries? What, what's the value to Joe Biden specifically? Yes. Well, his children and brothers uh, were enriched, which to AOC's questions earlier violate corruption statutes, RICO statutes, FCPA statutes, FARA statutes. Yes, yeah, so you would agree that the Biden family was involved in this corruption and influence peddling and selling access to the federal government? I do. Mr. Bobulinski, um, in your experience, did President Biden play a more active or passive role in uh, his son Hunter Biden's business dealings? I, I quantified it previously as he was the, ch he acted sort of like a chairman. He showed up and shook He's hands. He's been called the chairman. Yeah, so. he showed up, shook hands, and that's all the Chinese, Ukrainians, Romanians, Russians, whoever it was need. It's not what the Canadians, the Australians, and Americans need, but in those parts of the world, that's what they need. Thank you. And now I'm going to switch over to Mr. Galanis. Uh, during uh, his 2020 presidential campaign, then candidate for president, Joe Biden, said his son did not make any money from China. Did, did Joe Biden lie? Yes or no? Yes. Mr. Galanis, uh, you are aware of the BHR fund that consisted of Bohai, a Chinese state-backed company, Harvest, a China company, and Rosemont, uh, the Biden entity, correct? Yes, I am. And Mr. Galanis, you're aware that Hunter Biden formally held 10% of that Chinese entity. And, and would it surprise you, if you were aware, uh, that Hunter Biden held 10% of this entity well into his father's presidency? You know, I'm aware that the, it was founded as a business that he owned 50% of 20% or 10% directly from the outset, from uh, uh, early on in 2014. And would it surprise you, Kevin Morris, Hunter Biden's fake attorney, has testified that he now holds that interest? I, I don't have any knowledge about that, so it would, not much of this would surprise me. Mr. Bobulinski, in your testimony, you stated the Chinese Communist Party, through CEFC, successfully sought to infiltrate and compromise the Biden uh, the Obama-Biden White House during 2015 and continued through when Joe Biden left office. Would you agree that the CCP compromising the White House is a serious threat I to do. our nation's national security? I do. Thank you. And now Joe Biden has leveraged his elected position to enable the Biden family, their business associates, and their companies to receive over $24 million dollars from foreign nationals and their companies to re, uh, and their related companies biden is compromised and is a threat to our national security after today it's clear that joe biden is a bigger ccc a ccp asset than fang fang herself will uh will we ever come to the agreement that it is far time that Congress holds the resident of the White House accountable for selling out the American people. Unfortunately, my colleagues to my left have, highly, have a highly coveted made in China product, a brand, if you will, and that is Joseph R. Biden. Mr. Chairman, I yield the remainder of my balance to my friend from Florida, Matt Gates. Mr. Parnas, how much time do you